Cultivation of Global Sustainability. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 235. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is weekly progress update number 235, September 24th, 2017 edition. This week's topic, cultivation of global sustainability. For us, cultivation of global sustainability is about bringing together a team of all volunteers operating a nonprofit organization purpose to create open source and free shared blueprints, tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of what we call highest good living. And those highest good living aspects that we consider to be most important and foundational to the whole design can be broken up into two groups, physical sustainability and what we call emotional sustainability. Physical sustainability is what everybody's familiar with and you see happening in the background right now. The pictures and images would cover food, energy, and housing. But there's also the emotional sustainability components, which come later in the preview that you see happening in the background here. And those are highest good economic models, highest good education, fulfilled living practices, and truer stewardship. And our belief is that the true cultivation of global sustainability will happen through a self-replicating model. If we're truly desiring to create a sustainable planet, and our definition of a sustainable planet means a world that works for everybody. It means addressing global poverty, global hunger, global lack of energy infrastructure, global homelessness, global social uh, injustice, global education, all of these things simultaneously because we see them as not only interrelated, but as interdependent. And if we're going to cultivate global sustainability, we believe that any model with that grand of a purpose should simultaneously address all of these. And so the one community model is designed to do exactly that. And so everything you see happening in the background here and everything that one community is creating is purposed for that, to create a self-replicating model of teacher demonstration, communities, villages, cities, and hubs designed to be constructed anywhere in the world and to work together as a global cooperative, a global collaboration of organizations, groups, people working together to create a world that works for everyone. And so this is how One Community is organizing. And we brought together a team of over 300 volunteers who have worked together hundreds of thousands, over 100,000 hours of work that's gone into, well, probably hundreds of thousands at this point, we might be reaching about 200,000 hours, to get to the point where we are right now of the blueprints, tools, tutorials, resources, and instructions, everything that we've created thus far, and continuing to build this so that we will have a truly do-it-yourself model that shares all aspects necessary to build a sustainable world that works for everybody. And we think that is not just the components that we're talking about, but all the individual pieces that go into being able to make those self-replicating, to make them replicable, duplicable, and modifiable to create even better versions of everything that is that we're doing. So we're not just purposed to build an earth bag constructed village. We're not just purposed to build a shipping container village or treehouse village, but to teach others how to build it too. And so this means that when we build our first village and every successive village after there, we will be providing everything necessary for replication, which includes detailed materials list, detailed cost analysis, and then detailed labor uh, investment needs as well. All these things coming together, plus all the instructions, the video instructions, the written instructions, the online instructions, so that people can access the information that we're creating and use it in the way that works best for them. And then constantly updating everything that we're doing with the questions and comments that we get from the public to constantly make the instructionals, the tutorials, better through interaction with the public and then through interaction with other organizations replicating our models modifying our models our goal is to expand the open source and free share templates tools resources everything that we're creating and to constantly make them grow indefinitely 
so that as other people take what it is that we're doing, modify them, improve them, if they are willing to share those back with our organization and with the world as open source and free shared content, our goal is to promote that just like we promote our own information to help promote those organizations and help them to get notoriety and exposure to the world using the engine and the model that we've been building for the last seven years. This is how one community sees itself cultivating global sustainability and working together with organizations around the world that are interested in doing the same thing. And it doesn't have to be shared as open source. If people want to just take our information and use that to create something just for themselves or just for a small group and not open source and free share their modifications, adaptations, they absolutely don't have to. What we're saying that is if we're really focused on the cultivation of global sustainability, then of course our goal is to make it as easy as possible for others to participate in the process and to be an engine for sharing their modifications and adaptations too. This is how one community is creating world change and this is what we invite everybody to participate in. So with that said, Let's jump into one week of our team's progress and accomplishments and everything that our nonprofit, all volunteer organization has created just in the last week. Here it is. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do it yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team, which includes the pioneer members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, continued SketchUp design for the open source outdoor areas of the Recycled Materials Village Pod 6. This week, we added missing rails, doors, and windows to the dining building, and updated the dining area walls with openings for the doors and windows on both floors. The core team also continued working on the complete Treehouse Village Pod 7 village render, which is now approximately 90% complete and shown here as the 25% smaller bottom version. The core team additionally updated the Compressed Earth Block Village open source hub with new images, descriptions for all the images, formatting, and a new table of contents. You can see examples of the newly updated page and content here. The core team also, with the help of Sungum Stanzik, PhD in PE, updated the Communal Eco Shower page, Control and Automations page, and thermostatic mixing valve pages with the new water and energy saving details and strategies. You can see some of this work here. Hemanth Kodera, structural engineering master's student, completed his eighth week with us doing research, running calculations, and creating updated AutoCAD drawings for the Earthbag Village specifics. You can see some of this work along with the behind the scenes editing and revisions questions. Jaganathan Shankar Mahadevan, mechanical engineer, completed his second week working on the Straw Bale Village cost analysis. What you see here are outlines of the HVAC system and the beginnings of costing out the specifics for the residential sections of the village. Hamilton Matika, AutoCAD and Revit drafter and designer, also finished his 56th week helping with the compressed earth block village design and render details. This week's focus was version two and three of the massage room renders, as seen here. Aparna Tandon, architect, continue to work on the compressed earth block village external elements. What you see here is her 34th week of work, focusing on the final presentation shown here and live on the site for the zone eight and nine exercise and recreation areas. Samantha Robinson, 3D designer, completed her eighth week working on the interior design for the living structure of the Treehouse Village. This week's focus, as shown here, was designing the railing specifics for the stairway. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. Falguin Patil, mechanical engineer, completed his fourth week continuing to review, run calculations, and update the specifics of the remote energy setup plan so we can update the highest good energy page. This week's focus, as shown here, was detailed energy needs calculations for the initial construction equipment, transition kitchen, and ultimate classroom. Dipti Dondarker, electrical engineer, continued with her 51st week of work on the lighting specifics for the city center. This week's focus was testing multiple angles and finalizing the dining dome floodlight placement, as shown here. Aravin Vasudevan, mechanical engineer, 
continued his calculations and research for climate battery component of the city center heating and cooling open source hub. This week's focus was creation of the initial presentation structure we're evolving into the complete design, as shown here. Bomzi Puller Gertha, mechanical engineer, also continued work on the basement heat transfer comparisons for the city center heating and cooling open source hub. What you see here is Bomzi's newest details and conclusions, comparing how heat transfers from the basement and boiler room to the outside when built in ground versus above ground. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued editing the food pages. We continued researching details for our food needs to review the details for the food self-sufficiency transition plan and found 31 additional resources for checking calculations on the Sustainable Food Nutrition Calculations page, as you can see here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team began rebuilding the Education, Evaluation, and Evolution open source portal to reflect and be able to access the content created over the last few months in collaboration with Sungum Stanzik, PhD in PE. You can see some of this work in progress here. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team invested several more hours developing the animation for our video that will feature where all our collaborators and volunteers are from. The focus was developing the image movements, and we are now approximately 50% complete. The core team also made the final changes and additions to the taxes page, bringing it to 100% completion. In addition to this, we continued working on the new and standalone state-by-state -state resource page for the U.S. Departments of Taxation. Creating all the text, fixing all the image links on the page, and adding in SEO information. You can see some of this page in progress here. In addition to this, Pretty Coterie, information technology enthusiast, also completed her sixth week helping with the Highest Good Network software. This week's focus was successfully getting the D3 software to create the horizontal bar chart based on the hard-coded model data. You can see some of this work here. There you have it. This is our idea for cultivation of global sustainability, and you've just seen one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards the goal of creating a world that truly works for everyone. If you'd like to participate in cultivation of global sustainability with us, there's lots of different ways to do that. Check out our helping page. If you'd like the easiest way to contribute to our organization, help share our information, like this video. Thanks for watching to the end. Of course, we are on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible to access our information, to monitor uh, your settings. If you'd like to follow our progress for, on a weekly basis, uh, subscribe to us on social media, help us share information on social media. We're on all the different social media networks to make that as easy as possible. And that includes LinkedIn, Tumblr, Reddit, Twitter, Facebook, and about 15 others, uh, which we're posting to this these updates every single week. Uh, if you'd like to see details or an email, rather, every time one of these uh, updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com, and we can add, or add you to our newsletter list. If you'd like more details, more specifics, and links to all the open source content that we've discussed, uh, you can visit our written blog or visit our website and access all of those details there. And of course, uh, thank you. Thank you for following our progress. Thank you for the emails that we get. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the shares. Thank you for watching to the end. Thank you for the donations that we get. None of us are paid for what it is that we're doing. We're 100% unpaid volunteer staff. So the donations that we get all go 100% to forwarding our open source and free shared mission of spreading sustainability and creating open source tools, tutorials, resources, blueprints, and do-it-yourself instructions for replicating everything that it is that we're creating. So thanks for contributing in whatever way it is that you have, and that includes if you've just watched to the end of the video, that is appreciated as well. Till next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.